Five do's and five don'ts here in Iceland. Hi there and welcome back to the Wake Up Reykjavik channel. My name is Guðni and today we are going to be discussing five things you absolutely should do when here in Iceland and five things not to do. But before we dive into this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fun and educational videos about Iceland and everything Iceland related. Oh, you're already a subscriber. Yay! Well, fantastic. Let's just dive in then. Starting with five things you should be doing when in Iceland. Do explore our beautiful nature. The capital city of Reykjavik is vibrant and full of culture to explore, but Iceland's true magic lies within its natural wonders. So do venture out to see all of our stunning waterfalls, our black sand beaches, and our majestic glaciers, to name a few sites. Places like the Golden Circle, the South Coast, and the Snæfellsnes Peninsula area are must-visit locations when you come here to Iceland. And they are so easy to do as a day tour. Now with a day tour, you get picked up right from the city center, you get driven out to all of these stunning locations, you wander around and explore with a local guide, and then they will drive you right back to the city center. It could not be more easy. I will link my favorite day tours in the description of this video. And keep on watching this video, because I'm going to give you a promo code to give you the best deal on those day tours, and maybe even some more tours. Do prepare for all types of weather. Like we are always talking about on the channel, the Iceland weather can be quite unpredictable and unreliable. But there is a reason we will keep on saying this. It's simply because it's true. So dress in layers and bring waterproof everything. Seriously, everything. Especially sturdy waterproof hiking shoes for any day excursions you might want to have. It is way better to have a few more layers on you and then you can just take them off and leave them on the bus or in the car rather than you needing them and not having them. And if you don't have all the gear, there's no need to buy it. You can simply rent it. I will link some of those options in the description of this video. Do take off your shoes. Now, what I mean here is that if you're invited to a private home, or maybe a guest house, or maybe even some public establishment, don't be surprised if you're asked to take off your shoes. And the reason is pretty simple. We live in a country that is pretty much always rainy or snowy, so our shoes tend to get wet and muddy. And if that happens, it will make sense to take off your shoes, don't you think? But don't worry, this does not apply to cafes, bars, or restaurants. It's more or less a rule of thumb for some more intimate spaces. Do <laughs> try the Icelandic cuisine. Now, when you visit Iceland, you have to immerse yourself in the local culture. And there's no better way to do that than to try the local Icelandic cuisines. So don't leave without trying some of our classics, like our plokfiskur, a super tasty fish stew, or skir, a very unique dairy product that is kind of yogurt-like, but is actually a cheese, or world-famous Icelandic lamb hot dogs that are just so tasty. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, try haukat, fermented shark that is considered a local delicacy. Or at least to some people. I think it's just okay. I think it's just okay. But you could do your research, check out our grocery stores, some of our restaurants, go out there and try some of these things on your own. Or if you want to do it all in one go, hear the stories about the food you're eating and also explore the city on the way, you can just join in our three hour Reykjavik food walk. It's a guided tour led by a local Icelander who will take you to some of our favorite restaurants in the city that are handpicked from us and our team. You will sample some various Icelandic cuisines while you also hear stories about the dishes and the restaurants you're eating inside of. It is a fantastic way to get to know the city, our culture and Iceland in general. So consider doing this tour early in your stay so you can get some local know-how to then use throughout your stay. And when you go on our website, wakeupreykjavik.com and book the Reykjavik food walk or any other tours we have there, be sure to type in the promo code 5 Deuce for an added discount on all of our tours. As a thank you for watching this video. So thanks. Do shower naked. When you visit some of our fantastic public swimming pools and local lagoon, you will be asked to shower naked before you go in to take a dip. We do this to be able to use less chemicals in our water. So it's a total win-win for everyone and a big part of our culture. And it's super rude not to do this. Some of our newer facilities, like the Blue Lagoon and the Sky Lagoon, now have booths inside the shower area. So in the dressing room, you can strip down, put on a towel, then walk into the cubicle in the shower, take the towel off, wash down, put on your swimsuit, and then go outside. But no matter the setup, if you're going out for a swim, you have to shower naked beforehand. So let's all sign a pledge to wash down squeaky clean before we go swimming in Iceland. How does that sound? It sounds great, Gluni. We're gonna do it. Okay, thank you. Now on to five things you don't want to do in Iceland. Let's hit it. Don't stop in the middle of the road. 
If you venture out on your own with a car, I know it can be very tempting to stop in the middle of the road for a possible photo op. Maybe you see a cute little sheep out there, or even maybe the northern lights in the sky. But don't do this. It is so dangerous and it's also illegal. This exact scenario has led to so many accidents here in Iceland, so I ask you, please, please, please don't do this. Always use designated parking areas. They're always more pretty sights to be seen, but there are not more of you, so stay safe. Don't buy beer at the grocery store. And why not? Simply because it's not beer. Or well, it's non-alcoholic beer or beer that's under 2.25%. Because alcohol can only be sold here in state-run liquor stores and in bars and restaurants. But don't get me wrong, it can be a great option if you're driving or just taking things easy. But if you go to a grocery store and buy beer in bulk to pre-game or go on party, yeah, not much is going to happen. And your friends are gonna make fun of you because you got imaginary drunk in Iceland. That would be embarrassing. It's never happened to me. <laughs> okay, next, cut the camera, next. Next door. Don't expect to see the northern lights all the time. The northern lights draw many travelers here to Iceland, but their appearance is never guaranteed. They have a designated season. From late August into late March, early April, they can be seen here, but even in that period, never guaranteed. Simply because they are a natural wonder that depend on so many factors. So if you do it early, you have more days to do the retry and then you are maximizing your chances of seeing them. But on a stay here, do other Icelandic sites that are guaranteed and that way, if you see the lights, consider that a fantastic bonus. Don't get too close to the sneaker waves. When you visit our stunning black sand beaches, like our most famous one, Reynisfjara, never, ever, ever turn your back on the water. In that area, we have sneaker waves. Waves that look calm and peaceful one second, and then the next, they gush forward with extraordinary force that can actually drag you out to sea. And it's very, very hard to swim back and get away from those. So always face the water, read the signs in the area, and follow your tour guide's orders. And if you don't have a tour guide, follow my orders. Stay back. Don't go in the water, please. Don't do the Glacier Lagoon and Diamond Beach as a day trip. I know the photos look stunning and that area seriously is stunning. So I understand that you guys want to go there, but the drive to that area is five hours, only one way. So 10 hours total of driving with no pee breaks, no snack breaks, and no sightseeing along the way. So it's just way too long for a day trip. What we recommend is that you do a two day adventure South Coast tour with the Glacier Lagoon and Diamond Beach. We have that tour on our website and we have the summer and winter editions. Both of those tours, you do all the South Coast and hit up all the main sightseeing areas on the way. And for the winter edition of the tour, they take you to an ice cave. And for the summer edition, when the ice caves have melt, they do a stunning glacier hike. And both of these tours include a stay at a cozy local guest house with breakfast the following day. So by seeing these sites in a two day tour, you're breaking up the driving time, covering all the main sites on the South Coast with the Glacier Lagoon and the Diamond Beach, but you're doing it at a pleasant face. And doesn't that sound super nice? And that's it. If you follow these five do's and don'ts when in Iceland, you are well on your way to having the perfect trip here. So if you're coming to Iceland and looking to add more adventure to your stay, definitely check out our website and even send us an email. We would love to assist you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time in Reykjavik. Bye.